Biologists are part two of Biomass through Ecosystems, looking at OCR specification for A-level biology 6.3.1. We've already had a look at the first part of that lesson objective in red in part one. We're going to finish off the last little bit here looking at the biomass and then how humans impact on it. So net primary production, key thing that we need to take away from here is the units that are used. Please make sure you're aware of them. But net primary production, this is what is available for the next step uh, in the in the chain, in the food chain. Um, and this can be represented by a pyramid of energy. And this is an example of a pyramid of energy. We did look in part one as to why it decreases by a factor of 10 each time. Okay, if you wanna pause and have a go at these questions, please do now, here come the answers. Okay, so this is really important. Uh, a high temperature, therefore, or, and an increase in sunlight, therefore more photosynthesis, therefore more storage of biomass. This all increases the net rate of primary production. Therefore, for this question here, it would be the rainforest in the Amazon because it has higher temperature and an increased sunlight, therefore more photosynthesis, more storage of biomass, therefore a higher rate of or higher net primary production. Only 1% to 3% of sunlight received by the leaf is actually converted. And this is because... Uh, not all of it hits the chlorophyll, some goes straight through the leaf, some of it's reflected, but this is really important here, looking at the wrong wavelength of light, some of it might be the wrong wavelength. So please have a look and recap your physics knowledge at GCIC on the wavelengths of light. What colours are short and long wavelengths of light? Please look at that. This is an example, this is a picture just summarising what we just talked about there in terms of sunlight being reflected or absorbed, so have a look at that. A couple of definitions here you need to know. If you want to pause that and have a look. These are not taken from the MART scheme, but just to give you a bit more of an idea as to what's going on. Okay, some examples of formula that you might be given to use. You do not need to learn this formula here at the top. You just need to be able to apply it. So if you want to pause and have a go at those questions. Now, here come the answers. Really important, guys, that you put in the units to each answer you do in biology, the maths in biology, because it's generally worth another marking point. So one mark for 40, one mark for the units, one mark for 7,000, one mark for the units. Again, this was covered. If you want to pause and have a go at this, please do now. This is covered in part one, the video part one. And there we are. This is take, that's taken directly from the mark scheme. It's pretty self-explanatory. Right, so this formula here at the top, you definitely need to learn that exam, that for your exams, it's not provided in your exams, you need to learn that top one. So if you want to use the numbers from this diagram here to answer these questions, please do so now. If you want to pause the video, the answers are coming now. Okay, so we've pretty much done the first two bits of that. We're now going to look at human activities and how they manipulate the transfer. A couple of images here to think about if you want to pause the video and have a go yourselves. So this top one here is showing animals indoors uh, and also provides them with warmth. So two reasons here why they're not going to lose um, mass. This is because if they're kept warm, they're gonna, not going to lose mass on respiration to keep them warm because respiration keeps them warm. But also, if they're not moving as much, they're not going to waste energy in respiration. So therefore, hopefully get a bit more of a buildup in biomass. You can also feed them on a high protein diet. So therefore, hopefully have a because the protein in the diet will be transferred into the muscle mass. You can also vaccinate them against any diseases. Again, this helps to prevent the use of any energy used in an immune response. So therefore, hopefully more energy will go into biomass. And also this question, this picture here is a bit sad, but they slaughter them before they become mature. And again, this helps them to not waste energy on that mature stage. If, if, they, if they slaughter them just before they become mature, it allows them to harvest well harvest them at a good good stage within their lives if you, if they argue that so a couple of marking points here keeping them warm and indoors uh, reducing their movement which is a big one feed on a high protein diet use vaccinations and slots before they mature you can also use genetically modified organisms as well so there we are we've finished that lesson objective b for ocr specification please remember in your exam don't use your words amount amount size it's all they good luck